especially based on the method that we have mentioned. Uh, in the HCBS in Berlin put this uh, all together and actually they had to clean up everything because we are collecting too much data that couldn't, couldn't be actually represented in, in this model. Um, and they said that uh, it's San Francisco but without some landmarks like the Transamerica Pyramid uh, is not there. Uh, there was a decision um, to not let you distracted by the city itself. This can be any city. Um, and here we are showing uh, the, uh, the story of this hero who has to go from A to B. So can be a, can a, any one of us. And these are all the data that we are collecting or in, uh, connect, uh, connected to uh, within the city. So traffic lights. We are connected to the driver. We know where the base stations are. Uh, communicating uh, by GSM, so all the data, and then uh, and this is the, the usual traffic uh, every day in San Francisco. And uh, as you will see, uh, as you will soon see, something is gonna happen. So there is a car accident. And of course, no traffic jams. So all these cars are all stuck in traffic, and our hero, which is not stuck in traffic just yet, will receive automatic information from other cars. So we are not talking about uh, apps on your phone or, or anything. This is these are information automatically coming from the cars and being distributed to everyone else, in particular to to our hero. So the car will, uh, uh, will immediately understand, okay, there is a car accident, uh, there is a traffic jam, it's probably better to, to get it on the road. And this traffic avoidance use case, I think that uh, every one of us is very, uh, is very familiar with it, we have been using it on uh, car navigation, or smartphone apps, you name it. But what we can do is also something more, more interesting, like, okay, there is a car accident, and 